Hey everybody, another day, another array function video. Uh, if just to remind you where we started from, I got an email recently and the answer to the question that was in the email was an absolutely horridly ugly function, the one that's on the screen right now. And I want to help you break this down so that you can actually do something that's just this ugly because really, the individual tasks that are involved in this aren't that complicated. The six videos in the series are going to be nested functions, if error, if and and, index and match, array functions, and then a much more complicated version of array functions. Now this video is the if error function. Um, if you want to go back and check out the nested functions video, feel free to go back and click the link that's on the screen right now. And in the very near future, we're going to have links for if and and, index and match, array functions, and again, the more complicated array functions, which is going to be that monstrosity that you just saw a second ago. So let's take a look at what if error does for us. Now, if you're going to use a function like VLOOKUP, for example, you need to just sort of come to grips with the fact that VLOOKUP sometimes generates an error message. So here, we're looking for a specific patient ID, and using the VLOOKUP function that's right here, if I go look for EIT3954, I should be able to go across and see that the attending physician is Dr. Campos. So relatively simple, and sure enough, it does show me Dr. Campos exactly like I want it to. The problem is that if I put in a patient ID that's not there, like EXT, for example, then what's going to happen is it's going to give me kind of an ugly error message. It's going to give me an NA. And a lot of people, when they see this, they think something's wrong. But it's not. there's nothing wrong. It's just that Excel says, oh no, you, there was nobody named EXT3954, which is true. There was no patient with that ID number. So now the problem is, how do we get something that's a bit cleaner, something that doesn't make our bosses think that the whole thing's broken? What we're going to do is we're going to take the if error function and wrap it around the VLOOKUP function. So again, if you want to go back and look at the previous function about uh, nested functions with the round function, please do that. But if error, when it wraps around something like this, basically says this. If there is no problem, do the VLOOKUP. But if there is a problem, do something else. So here I'm going to put in little dashes, for example. And if I put in little dashes, then that's going to be what happens when the person's not in existence. Now here, I put it back to EIT3954, so you'll see that it goes ahead and shows me Dr. Campos. But if I change it to EXT3954, um, or something along those lines, something should change. So here's YKC2156, Dr. Pajes, shows up. But what if I look for a patient that doesn't exist? So I'm going to put in YEC instead of YKC, and you can see here that it shows up with just the dashes for me. Now, that's because in the if error function, I told it to output three dashes, but if I told it to do something a little bit more interesting, like no such patient, for example, well, then it shows me a little bit more of a useful error message. If I put it back to YKC, it shows me that doctor again. So a nested function with if error allows you to show a more attractive error message. That's it for today. Everybody be wonderful at what you do.